they gave us these masks and no one's got them.
Hey, don't trip.
family, friends, administration, teachers, school board members, and most importantly, the class of 2021. My name is Sophia Sabatini, and I am honored to be speaking in front of you, in person, today at our graduation ceremony. I would first like to thank our teachers for investing their time to make the sudden transitions between virtual and in-person learning as manageable as possible, and I would like to thank my parents for guiding me along this path. When we began our high school careers as ninth graders in the junior high, we never thought that our graduation would end a year often spent at home. In the spring of 2020, most of us expected to have an insignificant two-week break in March, not yet knowing that our class would be in school for only about 600 of the 720 standard days. In the beginning, we thought, there will always be next year, for the next school event and for things to be back to normal, but our senior year seemed to be just as effective. We were forced to adapt to a constantly changing situation, perhaps because of all the hurdles we overcame. Our shared experiences hold significant value. We were even able to create some of the essential senior year memories, such as prom, the relay tournaments, and this graduation. We have learned to appreciate each moment as we reflect on our past, and we can relate to each other more than ever, having been through this year together. As Oscar Wilde once said, education is an admirable thing, but it is well to remember from time to time that nothing that is worth knowing can be taught. This perspective seems to hold true in our lives today more than ever. While in high school, we gained substantial academic knowledge, but we also learned the intangible life lessons that Wilde refers to, especially in the last year and a half. In the beginning of the school year, I remember planting hyacinths and tulips in botany class. I put this day aside in my mind shortly after and directed my attention to the daily challenges that consumed the fall and winter months. At the end of the year, I marveled at the blossoming flowers, even though, logically, it was obvious this transformation would happen. That is how I imagine our growth as people this year, a lot of change happening underneath the surface. As a class, we developed a certain perseverance that will direct us through our lives in college, in the workforce, or in the military. This fortitude is only evident in hindsight. We learned to find motivation within ourselves to complete our goals during a period of rapid transition, but at the same time, we had to attempt to balance our responsibilities effectively. From the late nights writing papers to the randomly to the suddenly shifting virtual and in-person days, we learned to adapt to both a rigorous curriculum as well as abrupt change, both skills that will serve us well in the future. Through the course of our years of Holidaysburg, we grew up together, especially as we were forced to reckon with such an extraordinary senior year. As we walk through the gates of Tiger Stadium, we will leave with friends who know us differently, more deeply, than the friends that await us. The unique set of memories that we have together will leave us bonded in a way that time cannot touch. It is valuable to remember these memories and use our newfound strength to continue to take root. Perennials like tulips and hyacinths return every spring. They are dependable, hardy, and joyful. Class of 2021, I wish you a life of growth and beauty. Thank you.
Good evening, parents, friends, teachers, administrators, members of the school board, and especially the graduating class of 2021. We've successfully navigated high school, even with all the chaos of a senior year defined by a global pandemic. So, congratulations, fellow graduates. We've made it, and you should all be incredibly proud of yourselves. But remember that this day is merely the beginning, not the end, of what you will achieve. After all, today is one moment, relatively early on in our lives. Each and every one of us is capable of accomplishing more. However proud we may be right now, we also ought to strive to become even more proud in the future. I know that thinking of future accomplishments may seem daunting, especially while we are all uncertain and nervous about the future and what it holds for us. But at times like this, it's important to remember what President Abraham Lincoln once said. The best way to um, predict the future is to create it. This principle can and should be applied to all aspects of our lives. As we face challenges, rather than merely worrying about them, let's meet them head on and overcome them. Our challenges are an opportunity. They can define a path of action. When we believe we are responsible for shaping our lives, we can achieve great things. But this also means that you have to put in the work. Think of your life as a book. But you can't just read spark notes to pass the test, like some people did in English classes. You're all able to accomplish great things, but in order to do so, you have to actually read the book. That is, you have to put in the effort to achieve. But while we're on the topic of books, I recently read The Last Lecture by Randy Pouch. Pouch was a professor of computer science who had pancreatic cancer, and the book was essentially his parting wisdom before the cancer took his life. And there's one story in the book that really resonated with me, so I thought I'd share it with you. There's a virtual reality course he taught, entitled Building Virtual Worlds. His first time teaching it, he assigns a two-week project where the only instruction is to build a virtual world. That's it. So after two weeks, the projects come back, and he's completely blown away by them. Whitewater rafting, romantic gondola trips, roller skating ninjas, you name it. Absolutely incredible stuff. But now, Pouch had no idea what to do. As far as he was concerned, based on that project, they all deserved an A in the class. And this was only the first two weeks. How was he supposed to teach them for a whole semester? So you know what he did? He walks into class the next day and says, guys, that was pretty good, but I know you can do better. I mean, that's really what my speech today has been all about, right? We should constantly be trying to improve, even in our practice moments. Maybe I should have just started with that story and say this all because really, life is a lot like Pouch's class. Life doesn't come with any instructions. Instead, you have to build your own world. Like Lincoln said, you have to create your own future. And that is what we should do. So, class of 2021, congratulations. And good luck to you all in your future endeavors. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart on this monumental day in our lives. I do not know what I would be doing with my life after this day if it weren't for the Greater Altoona Career and Technology Center. Before joining the Visual Arts class at the GACTC, I had no clue what I wanted to do with my life. Besides drawing, I had no extraordinary talent, and I didn't know how to make a living out of it. I was never the kind of student to sit and listen to a lecture. I wanted to learn by doing. I, like many others, learn best through hands-on teaching, and the CTC provides just that for about any technical field of work. Students that choose the path of going to the Greater Altoona Career and Technology Center learn hard skills rooted in the values of integrity, innovation, growth, and service. I know that every GACTC student here, like myself, has worked arduously, pushing themselves to become industry professionals and leaders, through my four years of attendance in the visual arts program, I learned what I needed to be a future business professional. Besides the hard work that all students put into their classes, there are many diverse opportunities provided through the GACTC. Along with real clients coming to the CTC for help, programs such as CareerLink Co-op and SkillsUSA provide even more opportunities to students. 
Students who participate in, co -op pro in the co-op program get even more hands-on experience by going into the work field. Skills USA is another program that helps students further their education. Skills USA empowers its members to become world-class workers, leaders, and responsible American citizens improving the quality of our nation's future skilled workforce through the development of personal, workplace, and technical skills grounded in academics. Personally, through the GACTC and Skills USA, I had the chance to create logos for real nonprofit organizations, go to two leadership conferences as a Skills USA officer, and compete in districts and state Skills USA competition for advertising and design. I will soon be competing in nationals in the same category thanks to my experiences and education at the CTC. In the words of Miss Amin, my Skills USA advisor at the GACTC, you never know until you know, and once you know, you wish you knew. Going to the te technological school will forever be something I look back on on pride and smile when I think of every moment of it. The people there taught me more than I could ever have learned on my own. Every student that leaves the GACTC leaves with the ability to become the best of the best in their fields, thanks to everything the school provides. At the start of ninth grade, I was a student who loved to draw and create, but had no clear idea how that passion would translate into a career. I leave this evening with the confidence in my ability to make it as a world-class graphic designer. Remember, you never know until you know. To all of my fellow students, GACTC and Holiday Bird alike, I hope you never stop learning and pushing yourselves to be better, because we are capable of amazing things. We don't know what the future holds for us, but if we move confidently into the world and pursue our talents and dreams with dedication, we will flourish into the people we want to become. Class of 2021, I wish you the best that life has to offer. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome parents, family members, friends, teachers, staff, administration, and school board members. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Mrs. Benson, Mrs. Black, Mrs. McConnell, and Mrs. Ott, and the maintenance and custodial staff for all the behind the scenes work they do to make tonight possible. Also, I want to thank Mr. Harrington, Mrs. Eckenrode, and the senior high faculty and staff for their support and hard work throughout the year. At this time, would the following students please stand? Weston Barnes, <laughs> Hannah Campbell, Reagan Sibbles, Adam Haddock, <laughs> Noah Hoover, Christian Lutton, and Adam Muir. These are the students who have committed to the military to serve our country. Let's show them our flexibility above all else. Our heart breaks for you that senior year of high school is so unpredictable and inconsistent, but it has been my absolute privilege to see you overcome this and to watch you soar. This experience has made you stronger. You were made to move mountains and overcome the almost unimaginable. The yearbook theme this year is the year that zoomed by. 
This year, definitely, is the year to zoom by. Not in my wildest dreams would I ever think that I would be your principal in the middle of a pandemic. Focusing on the positives of what we've learned through this pandemic is very important. We have learned to stop, which is probably the best lesson we could learn. Rather than zooming by, we learned we need to stop and spend more time at home, spend more time with loved ones, and spend more time appreciating the simple things in life. We have also learned that all of you are strong and resilient. Many days you didn't know what educational platform you would be on tomorrow, hybrid, face-to-face, -face, virtual. You didn't know if you'd be able to participate in athletics, music, clubs, or even go to work. Hoping that these would not be canceled at the last minute, or that you wouldn't get called down to the nurse's office, or get a call at home to tell you that you'd be quarantined. Now that you know you can survive a pandemic and become better for it, Continue with your strength and resiliency, but above, above all, please remember to stop. Don't let your life zoom by and suddenly realize you did not stop, you did not spend enough time with your loved ones, or that you didn't fulfill your dreams. All of you have gifts and talents and are absolutely amazing individuals. Make the most of who you are and don't let your life zoom by. Seniors, I am very lucky and proud to be your principal. Go move mountains. Congratulations, class of 2021. Good evening, class of 2021. There are countless graduation ceremonies occurring all over the country this spring. Some are honoring graduates from high school, others college, and still others elementary school or even kindergarten. At each of these graduations, there are likely multiple speeches. Speeches from valedictorians, salutatorians, administrators, famous guest speakers, some of you whom may be actors, politicians, or successful businessmen or businesswomen. The overwhelming majority of these speeches will most certainly address the unprecedented challenges of the pandemic, the profound impact that it's had on you, the graduates, and how you have persevered through this difficult time and will use this adversity to make you stronger and more determined to succeed in whatever path you may choose. But I feel that you, class of 2021 deserve a different approach. Therefore, from this point forward, I will not mention COVID, pandemic, contact tracing, or quarantine. I hear you. You survived history. It's now time to look forward. So you're surely wondering, what is the focus of this sage advice that Dr. Gilday is about to impart to us, right? Well, class of 2021, the focus of my speech is food. Yes, food. In fact, my speech will focus solely on one particular food item, a meal from which you can find everything that you need to know to succeed in life. A food that has brought me and countless others Great satisfaction since its creation in 1964. What is this food source that could cost so little, yet mean so much to humanity? A food that is so simple, it comes in a box and is eaten from a bowl with nothing more than a little milk. A food that many of you have probably consumed in your lifetime as well, never knowing that it contained everything you need to know to achieve your life goals. Yes, class of 2021. The secret to a successful life can be found in one magically delicious bowl of lucky charms. A 
I'm telling you. Pink hearts, yellow moons, orange stars, and blue diamonds. Pink hearts. Before becoming superintendent, I was blessed to work 13 years as principal at Foot of Ten Elementary School, where many of you attended. When I was having a bad day, all I would need to do is visit a kindergarten classroom. I can remember many times when a kindergartner turned my whole day around with a smile, a laugh, or just by their infectious excitement. Your kindergarten teachers, some of whom are here tonight, and parents would tell you that it wasn't always happy emotions that you showed. Sometimes it was tears, anger, or fear. Regardless of how you were feeling, more often than not, as a five-year-old, you knew how to show it and you used your emotions to either help yourself get what you needed or to help others feel your joy. But as you grew older, things changed. Showing your emotions is not as socially acceptable for an 18-year-old. Crying during first, first period math class because you miss your mom and dad or running to your science teacher and giving her a big hug as you enter the classroom is not socially acceptable in most cases and may result in a trip to the guidance counselor. But why? There's no written rule that the older you get, the less you should show your emotions. Keep laughing, keep crying, keep hugging. Don't be afraid to tell people how you feel, for tomorrow it may be too late. Express your feelings. Before you leave here tonight, before you walk out of the gates of this stadium, Thank those in the stands or on this field who are responsible for you being here, and by all means, tell them that you love them. Show your emotions. Orange stars. Jiminy Cricket was wrong. Don't just wish upon a star, shoot for the stars. Set audacious goals in life and do not allow adversity to disrupt your path. Stephen Hawking was a very intelligent young man. He was born into a family of doctors. He dreamed as a young child of exploring the stars, and as a teenager, he was accepted in one of the most prestigious universities in the world. But at the age of 21, his life changed. He was diagnosed with a terminal illness, motor neuron disease, that would likely result in paralysis and eventual death. The disease progressed slowly, first affecting his ability to walk and eventually restricting his communication through a speech-generating device initially controlled with a handheld switch and eventually, after he lost use of his arms, by using a single cheek muscle. Despite his deteriorating physical condition over five decades, Hawking never strayed from his goal of understanding the universe. He continued to shoot for the stars. He died three years ago at the age of 76, contributing more to the understanding of the universe than any physicist of our time. Believe in yourself and shoot for the stars. Blue diamonds. Diamonds are known for their beauty and strength as well as being the most valuable gem on Earth. But did you know that diamonds take as much as three billion years to form? Good things take time. Malcolm Gladwell, in his best-selling novel, Outliers, detailed the 10,000-hour rule, claiming that one of the keys to achieving world-class expertise in any skill is, to a large extent, a matter of practicing the correct way for a total of around 10,000 hours. You can't just set your goals and expect to achieve them without work. Like a diamond, it takes time to accomplish great things. So work hard towards your goals. Yellow Moon. The moon has guided the human race since recorded history. Ancient cave drawings dating back 15,000 years have been found in France, the first evidence of the moon's impact on human life. Travelers by sea and land have used the light of the moon to guide them through uncharted territory in search of freedom from persecution or new opportunity. The moon has served as a compass to humanity. You have been guided through your childhood by your parents, your grandparents, your teachers, your coaches, and other supportive and nurturing adults. Those valuable lessons, whether spoken or modeled, are within you and have helped shape who you are. You now stand at the threshold of adulthood. There will be many times when the guidance of a loving adult will not be there for you. What will guide your decisions? The many lessons you have learned from the people in the stands and on this field will act as your compass and, like the moon, keep you focused on your destination. Follow that compass. 
And possibly the most valuable lesson to be learned from Lucky Charms comes from the pieces of oat cereal found within. Man or woman cannot live on marshmallows alone. So take care of your body. It's the only one you have. The bowl of Lucky Charms can guide you through life. It is not to be eaten on a daily basis. The same can be said for pizza, fast food, chips, soda, or candy. Life will slow down as you get older, but your metabolism will not. So eat right and get your exercise. Pink hearts, yellow moons, orange stars, and blue diamonds. Class of 2021, I wish you the best of luck as you enter the most exciting times of your lives. As you travel down your chosen path, I hope that you take time to show your emotions, set your goals and believe in yourselves, work hard to achieve your goals, Stay true to your compass, take care of your health, and by all means, enjoy a few bowls of Lucky Charms on the way. Thank you. Dr. Sommer, the members of the class of 2021 assembled here this evening have successfully completed the prescribed course of study for graduation from Holidaysburg Area Senior High. They have met the requirements of the Department of Education and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and are entitled to receive a high school diploma. As Superintendent of Schools, it is my duty as well as my distinct pleasure to present the Class of 2021 for graduation. Donovan Mackenzie Adams. Xavier Nathaniel Adams. Corey Marie Adorno Rodriguez. Jamie Afor. John Michael Agner. Gavin Joseph Amick. Tyler Michael Arney. Wasu Ashra Papa. Camden James Almond. Brianna Elizabeth Unks. Scholar of Distinction, Catherine Ann Avery. Scholar of Distinction, Sabrina Azad. <laughs> Olivia Grace Baird. <laughs> Carissa Pearl Lynn Baker. <laughs> Matthias Xavier Valiette. Weston Edward Barnes. <laughs> Benjamin Paul Barrett. Nathan Joseph Barrett. Zach 
Zachary William Barton. Cody Michael Bean. Alyssa Riley Bell. Tyler James Bertram. Morgan Elizabeth Beharry. Madison Faye Blake. Reese Michael Boland. Scholar of Distinction, Nadia Jane Boston. Alexander Michael Bowmaster. Jamil Shamir Anthony Boykin. Damian Ronald Brannon. Elijah Matthew Grantner. Riley Shay Bro. Evan Michael Brzezenich. Riley William Broombaugh. Benjamin William Bruner. Logan John Burke. Trinity Aaron Burke. Haley Barbara. Rachel Elizabeth Butters. <laughs> Hannah Rose Campbell. <laughs> Kevin Michael Campbell. <laughs> Camden Michael Cadillac. May Chamberlain. Daisy Lynn Chesney. Jonas Nelson Siprich. Reagan Marie. Emily Faith. Clar. Logan Jacob Clar. Oregon has been Clark. Jonathan Clay Collier. Colby Andrew Conaway. Maya Reese Connell. Amelia Joy Connor. Lydia Ellen Cugini. <laughs> Alyssa Jade Kerfman. <laughs> Alana Starr Davis. <laughs> Eric Steven Davis. <laughs> Jackson Robert Del Judas. Adam Joseph DeFlaviano. 
Megan Elizabeth Dingus. Ian Michael DeCandrazio. Savannah Danielle Dodge. Kelly Marie Dunmeyer. Jacob John Jakowski. Brian Thomas Ecker. Eli Mason Ager. Faith Elizabeth Ellenwood. Hunter James Emrick. Susanna Escamilla. Austin James Eastep. Yeah! Go, Austin! Zoe Deanne Eastep. Scholar of Distinction, Sage Lindsay Evans. Tyler David Faber. Ethan Edgar Feather. Elena Marie Fisher. Abigail May Frazier. Carrie Lynn Frederick. Megan Elizabeth Frederick. Caleb Michael. Sage Gray Garber. Austin David Garland. Cecilia Teresa Gebhardt. George. Hunter Thomas Gibbons. Gary Giordano. Lucas Russell Goodman. Joseph Henry Grable. Rocco Joseph Grassi. Katie Marie Gresham. Mackenzie Joanne Grove. Adam Edward Haddock. Margaret Rebecca Haynes. Lucas Stephen Haddock. Ashley Bell Helmer. Felon Rose Helsel. Felicia Marie Housley. Scholar of Distinction, Grace Anna Houghton. Bradley Christopher Hank. Terry Elizabeth Henry. Gabriel Joshua Herman. Ava Rose Herr. 
Torrance Malin Kerr. Joshua Paul Higgins. Agnes Patricia Hoover. Haley Jean Hoover. Noah Werner Hoover. Chris Wamini. Peyton Elise Huff. Caden Michael Hutzel. Atticus Fisher Imhoff. Caleb Thomas Jandora. Jacqueline Rose Jenkins. Jazlyn Rain Jenkins. Emma Jade John. Ethan Thomas John. Scholar of Distinction, Brian Jacob Johnson. Jeremy Michael Jones. Tyler Dean Jones. Seth David Kazmier. <laughs> Scholar of Distinction and Valedictorian, Derek Anthony Kaplan. Dana Marie Kelly. Rita Joan Kenzora. Matthew John Corey. Hannah Elizabeth Klein. Adam Michael Nob. Megan Marie Nisley. Trevor Dakota Langenbacher. Gage Lane Laird. Jennifer Nicole Lasik. Riley Morgan Lear. Guy Edwin Leonard. Lydia Marie Lee. Jedediah James Lingenfelter. Blake James Logan. Jacob Stanton Longenecker. Christian John Lutton. Lakin Gale Lynch. Paige Catherine Mackey. Tyler John Maynard. Bryce Robert Mortalacki. Francisco Martinez. Avery Olivia Mathern. Emma Catherine Madeline. 
Emma Grace McCall. Madison J. McConnell. Whoa! Carter Tieran McCoy. Brooklyn Elizabeth McCready. Takira Jessica McCready. Nathan Allen McCullough. Miranda Jane McIntyre. Madison Sulveig McClanahan. Ryan Patrick McLucas. Matthew Mark McMullen. Landon Dex Meadows. Emily Elizabeth Miser. Ben Milanic. Paige Elizabeth Miller. Zachary James Miller. Benjamin Ellen Mitchell. Bella Montero Piquino. Brayden Michael Morgan. Deshaun Eric Moss. Adam Edward Muir. Paige Elizabeth Myers. Scholar of Distinction, Claire Elizabeth Knackley. Matthew Timothy Nagel. Hunter Jack Victor Neely. Creed Allen Norris. Braden Michael O'Connor. Jacob Andrew Orr. Scholar of Distinction, Daniel Joseph Owen. Sarah Lynn Parch. Peyton Gregory Paisley. J. Marcus Patterson. Drake Allen Patton. Scott Michael Perrin. Nicholas Dean Peterson. Evan Michael Petronac. Scholar of Distinction, Jasmine Pham. Colton Plowman. Scholar of Distinction, Michael William Prawl. Savannah Schuyler Price. Kadia Rebecca Prill. Jacob Paul Ragusa. Michaela Ann Reed. Morgan Leah Raplevel. Yeah. 
Sabrina Leanne Rhine. Joshua Richardson. Emma Rachel Ricker. Kendall Rose Riley. Madison Alyssa Ritchie. Anaya Nakao Robertson. Andrew Stephen Roman. Brandon Michael Roman. Dominic Rout. Caitlin Renee Rouge. Nathan Edward Roof. Scholar of Distinction, Sophia Marie Sabatini. And also Sophia Scholar of Distinction, Travis Bryce Saylor. Michael Robert Scarpelli. Noah James Shank. Tanner Michael Schnars. Katrina Marie Sierino. Logan Marie Shade. Scholar of Distinction, Evan Anthony Shell. Ethan Michael Shanafelt. Gage Anthony Shawley. Elizabeth Marie Sheehan. Eden Marie Shevenoff. Samantha Eleanor Shoemaker. Sarah Ann Seibold. Macy Lynn Sykes. Clay Thomas Smith. Kevin Alexander Smith. Madeline Mary Smith. Michaela Alexis Smith. Noah David Smith. Taylor Renee Smith. Xavier Dallas Smith. Olivia Danielle Snyder. Brian Richard Soison. Kiara Lene Spay. Logan Thomas Seville. Jacob Willis Stevens. Tanner Caleb Stewart. Isaac Evan Stifler. Ashley Elizabeth Stonerup. 
Ellie Mae Swanner. Austin Alexander Tapia. Kathleen Marie Tinker. Alicia Ann Tipton. David Charles Trumpauer. Scholar of Distinction, Riley Elise Trinajeski. Daniel Angelo Toriano. Ava Noel Ventura. Blaze Thomas John Ventura. Preston Jacob Wade. Jordan Grace Wagner. Campbell John Walker Walls. Scholar of Distinction, Jerrica Dawn Walters. Paul David Walters. Dylan Patrick Bear. Samantha Nicole Watson. Hayden Destiny Wyant. Sarah Grace Wilkins. Andrew Jacob Wolfer. Jonathan Wayne. Mackenzie Lynn Woods. Porter Noah Woods. Scholar of Distinction, Aiden Luke Yanchik. Samantha Jo Yingling. Samantha Nicole Yingling. Elizabeth Renee Yoder. Lucas Ray Zimmerman. David Palmer Zimmerman. vested in me as president of the Hollingsburg Area School Board. It gives me great pleasure to declare the class of 2021 as graduates of the Hollingsburg alumni of the Hollingsburg Area School District. Congratulations. 